Outlander, wait, wait a moment. That weapon of yours, Outlander, that spear, I can see the blue light upon it. This? It was made by an acquaintance of mine. Ah, a shaman. Uh, no. More of a tinker? A tinker does not understand the spark in the metal, the song in the metal like this. But it could be improved upon, modified with the help of the old ones. Far north of here, there is a cave, a, a shaft in the snow. Within it is a nest of metal birds. Find a bird that hasn't been stripped by shaman's past. Look for a rail inside it, the length of your spear. That's all I can tell you. Get a rail from some metal birds in a cave. Sounds perfectly normal. Here's one of the metal birds. Damaged. Guess the Banuk already got to it. Move that flying machine over a little. There's the door lock. I'll need to configure it. If those punk technicians think I'm gonna sleep on them waltzing in here and screwing around with the drone routines, <laughs> they have seriously underestimated my sense of mission. Let's just reset that hollow lock. Sierra. rail. That's what I want. Shouldn't be hard to remove. 
I'll show it to that shaman when I'm back in Song's Edge. So this thing will improve my spear, huh? Is this what you- Hush, hush. A shaman's secrets are not spoken aloud. Is this what you wanted me to find? Bind it to your spear. Use it to attach this. For now, you'll find more, I'm sure. Why are you helping me? The blue light is fading. The machine songs are ending, and, and what does the Conclave do? They sit, they chant, they observe. No more. We must fight for it. And you? You are a fighter. We share a cause. I'm not sure we do. I'm not even sure what the cause is. But I'm grateful. No need for thanks. Only action. Now I can attach modification parts to my spear. Works for me. Might as well get... She never falters. But if she has, then Do I'm the one who can throw a spear the farthest. And I'm the one who can climb ice the fa... A Warak chieftain from the Nora. Strange omens. What do you make of it, Shaman? My thoughts on this are... clouded. I must... take in the smoke of burnt wires to clear them. We are of the White Teeth come down from the jawbone of Benur to test those who would run with us. A test? In those hunting grounds? No. It is an ordeal. Survive upon the glacier in the knife trail, as our ancestors did. It's been a harsh season. Two have yet to return. We shall wait. Then we shall bless their attempt. Then we shall leave. What does this ordeal involve? To scale the glacier's face and endure four days and four nights, sustained only from the frozen ground of the machines. Our shaman has blessed the ordeal and permitted their harvest. Metal to fashion weapons. The rest is forbidden. What about the two who haven't returned? It was their ordeal to face alone, their life or death. Those who return know the white teeth run alongside them. Those who do not know the white teeth mark their attempt. How generous. So who are the white teeth? Warriors. The first and the best. All young hunters hungry for the fight seek to run with us. Now the machines are angered. There was always fighting. We are well served, eh, shaman? Every day lightning cracks in the smoke of battle. Every night a new name to honor in song. Aren't you even going to look for your missing hunters? In time. As months pass, the meltwater often carries the bodies out. <sighs> Unbelievable. If there's a chance they're alive, then I'll look for them. Even if they did still live, they will not accept your aid, Outlander. To us, survival is sacred. Nothing else can be relied upon. We'll see. I think I found one of the hunters.
Outlander, huh? Well, who else would join me on this path I've taken? Which path would that be? Away from tradition. Away from the Werak. It's not so. Damn. I metal too. But my need is greater. Tell the Banuk don't accept help. Is it true? <laughs> they don't. I do. An outlander. Chieftain of a Werak. It's stranger in the cut than I thought. You're telling me. You fight well. I am a Kree. Thank you. I'm Aloy. I heard the White Teeth were missing two hunters. You look like you could leave if you wanted to, so... I stayed because of the other. My Len. She snapped her leg descending the ice. I bided my time keeping vigil, but now she must return to the Werak before they leave. Is joining the White Teeth so important to you? It's one of the great Weraks of Banor. Not so many great ones left now. I would go where my Lin went. I was her shadow on the snow, and she was mine. To be a runner with the White Teeth was everything to her. You know this, my Lin, well. Since our knees were always skinned. All my life. In a test to prove that we only need ourselves. That was my weakness. Sounds like she was lucky for your weakness. That's not the way she sees it. Mylan won't let you help her, will she? Because of the rules of this test. You're quick as a rockfall. No, just used to being told what's forbidden to me. She won't allow it. Won't take the medicinal plants I found or the food. Only what she can scrape up on hands and knees. I could get close when she was delirious. But now she's learned not to let me get close. What's this ordeal supposed to prove? That we have the strength of our ancestors. That we can survive as they did. When they came in search of a homeland, some were trapped against this glacier by a snowstorm. Four days, four nights. After the storm cleared, the survivors sighted a tall neck, which led them up into Banor. Well, 
That's the story I learned, anyway. So let's get her back to the work. All right. I've made a splint for her leg. Medicine for the pain, but I should warn you, she won't take them willingly. The law of survival... Tribal law shouldn't keep us apart from the ones we care for. Even if she cares more for the law. Can't be too prepared. Come up. That's where we're going. The frozen flow from the Ice Father. It keeps many things, but it won't have her. Not if we can help it. More up? We're lucky. Handholds have thawed. There. Between us, we can fight the machines off before they reach her. Uh, another tradition broken. Take it from me. It gets easier the more you do it. Aloy.
can feel her fever even in this cold. She shouldn't have been putting weight on this leg. She is awake. <sighs> Miss Outlander. You brought her here, Ikri? You think I went to the Nora homelands to find a spear to drive between us? I told you, the ordeal is mine, and mine alone. I will survive. Which would you rather keep, my Len? Your leg or your pride? Because I think you're going to have to choose. Finish it. I know what you think of me. But I vowed you'd join the White Teeth. And you will. I will go back. <clears throat> Alone. <clears throat> no! Let me do this. Please. Letter. My Len, I hope you can forgive me someday. I never accepted your help. It's the where act you should ask for forgiveness. I didn't care about the where act. She'll understand. You saved her life. You don't know the Benuk very well, Aloy. We have so many ways to express a grudge, and only one to accept an apology. I have to go my own way. I don't belong with them, who left her to die. And I don't belong with Ikri. I'll find a crack in this glacier, and I'll shout my grief into it. And the ice can keep it forever. What should I tell them? The work. That I fell. And that she endured. Will you? Returned. I expect you have something to say about this. I do. Then convince me what an outlander's word is worth. I'm not up on all of the Banuk traditions, but I know what matters to you is that your laws are upheld. Going by the rules of your ordeal, she endured the four days and the four nights. She faced the extremes and survived. Seems to me that's what you wanted. Just so. Then by the law, my Len will wear our paint. Outlander. So nothing of the other hunter? The one called Ikri? She's... gone. She sounded brave. Her name... will always be in my song. Outlander, it would be my... I've heard of you, Huntress. Each of the many verses of your song tells of an impossible victory. The notes echo across the cut. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Hmm. That I know. My song used to echo around Banur. 
Umnok, the hunter of legendary machines. That's why I'm here. For another. They call it the Claws Beneath, or they did when I was younger. Its defeat would have given my song a fine end. Oh, yeah. I used to travel between Banur and the Cut without stopping to sleep. But this trip... My bones ache, Huntress. But you... Out hunting Aratak, Leading your own Werak. If half your song is true, you are the only hunter I trust to go in my place. You... want me to hunt for you? Not just for me, no. For an old friend. You want me to hunt in your place? Is that some kind of Banuka custom? Well, perhaps it should be, but no. We survive and we prevail, until we fail to do either. I confess, this is not easy for me. For any other machine, I would die as I have lived. A Banuka hunter, weapon raised. But too many good lives have been lost to the Claws. Throwing my old corpse atop the pile accomplishes nothing. Better to live in a world without the claws than to die while it still makes children orphans. Sounds like you've got a reputation. To be Banuk is to push your body to its limits. I found my limits higher than most. Fearsome machines needed killing, and in my youth, I found I had a talent for killing them. Even now, my name carries such weight that when the claws beneath re-emerged, the Werak came to me. Do you still have the same faith in yourself that your Werak seems to have? Perhaps I did. Before I held my bow in shaking hands. Noticed, for the first time, the spots on my knuckles. What a strange thing it is to be old. To stare backward and see such distance but to stare forward at a looming wall. This machine, the claws beneath, why travel all the way to the cut just to hunt it? Some songs. They include a refrain, the return of a past moment. It seemed fitting. You've hunted this thing before. Must have been 20 winters past. We were so close to bringing the claws to bay. Closer than anyone else ever got. We? Me. And my friend. He was a chieftain of my Werak then. A skilled hunter. Every few years, the claws would emerge in a new location. I knew of two chieftains he'd sent to their burial pyres. My friend became the third. This hunt. I had hoped to complete it in his honor. This is obviously important to you, Umnok. Are you sure you want someone else to take down this machine? No, I am no longer a match for the claws beneath. If I ever was. If I face it, it will kill me. Of this I have no doubt. The Banuk blood in my veins screams at me to take on the claws myself. But I must see it brought down. And dead men see precious little. All right, Umnok. I'll do what I can. I've no doubt you can do quite a lot. The stories say the Claws Beneath returns here only once every six winters. The whispers I've heard say it now makes its home on the northeast edge of the cut. Hunt well.
beneath. Hamnak wasn't lying when he said you were tough. It's over. It wasn't easy, but that rockbreaker won't be hurting anyone anymore. The claws beneath brought low by an outlander. <laughs> this part of your song will travel far. I don't know if I'll ever get used to that. I've found people rarely live up to their songs. You're an exception, though. And you've done me a true kindness. My foe is buried now, like so many of the hunters it killed. My friend, my chieftain. He would be pleased to know his fate won't befall anyone else. Take this in thanks. I believe you've more than earned it. The hunting party with their throats cut and their bodies looted. You're Aloy, right? My pop, Burgund, I mean, told me you might be heading up to see me. Varja, pleasure. Hey, that spear is really something. You've customized her, haven't you? I've made a change or two. You've got an eye for weapons. I wish these Banuk agreed with you. I can't seem to sell scrap to a Glen talk around here. Everyone wants boring old bows and spears. I like the more unusual stuff. And the Banuk can get unusual. Like that spear Aratok hauls around? An ice rail. Ooh, or that weapon of Araya's? What I wouldn't give to poke around inside one of those. Feel the lightning on my fingers. Or inside of anything, really. Last commission I had was a month ago. A weapon that spat fire. That didn't go well. I've got a nice rail, just like our talks. You want to take a look? Uh, are you serious? Y yes, yes, I love that. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> obvious design flaw. So if I replace these... Yeah, that should... <sighs> right. So, believe it or not, she's operating at... Let's be generous. Half her potential. What's with the she's? <laughs> oh. Pop says all weapons are girls. I don't think he realizes it's a compliment. Uh, well, listen. If we had a Thunderjaw's mandibles to work with, her gears would be well and truly greased. And I know where to find one, if you want to go hunting with me. Remind me what we need to fix up this thing? That Thunderjaw's mandibles will do it. So, a Thunderjaw hunt. They seem pretty rare up here, not that I'm complaining. That's why we should get out of the cut for a while. Hunt one in the valley meet. I'll wait for you out there. Easier for me to work with parts before the metal goes cold. Is Bergrin going to be okay with this? Eh. If we can handle a Thunderjaw, we can handle Pop. Good to be out of knee-deep snow. So, we've got a thunder job. I'm ready to do this. On your lead.
Varja should be able to... On the part. Ready to fix up that weapon? I am always ready to fix up a weapon. Never thought I'd be glad to see the inside of a Thunderjaw's mouth. I sure am. Every machine's a big box of tools. Once they stop trying to kill you, that is. Trust me, Aloy. You won't recognize this ice rail when I'm through. There. Oh, she's perfect. A spear's a spear, right? Poke slash done. Boring. I adjusted the chill water flow, rebalanced here, strapped on a launcher, and now she shoots freezing spikes. Ta-da! You weren't kidding. More beautiful, more powerful. That's my guarantee. If I find anything I think you'd like, I'll be back around. You better.